in the day of tens, let's watch what's happening in my trip. I'm again walking, same as every day. Let's see where I reach. Actually, I'm getting close to national park, which uh, there are wild animals, and people told me I'm not able to walk there at all. So I'm planning uh, near national park. I start to hitchhike and go by car with people. So I continue a bit more to walk, and then I should stop and try get a lift and pass national park with uh, people who has a car. This is the spot where I start to get a lift. In beginning, just there were vans uh, which they transport passengers. But I was uh, trying to get a lift uh, with normal cars. I a bit wait more here and then I decide walk a little bit more. The weather is getting again cloudy, but this time of the day I really don't need the rain. So yeah, here I'm waiting for car to get a lift past National Park. And I decide to break my uh, silent. So it's getting more easier to talk with people and, you know, get a lift. So then... Yeah, finally, I found a car. They told you to walk. Yeah, I can walk. I came from uh, Lake Bonioni till here by walking. On the way, we saw some wild animal. But because we were in car, we were safe. Otherwise, if they saw you on the road, they go aggressive. Even I heard there is lion and more aggressive animals, but uh, happily <laughs> we didn't face them. But it can be very dangerous you walk there. I reached uh, Kassasas city. And uh, I have a house, I get in touch with a, a special girl and she invited me to her house. She was so impressed with what I'm doing. So she told when you are Kesese, come uh, to me and you can stay with me. I had her uh, location and her number. So I reached a village, but I think uh, location was a bit uh, confusing. So I went to uh, wrong village and I search for Masika person. But I noticed 90% of girls there, their name is Masika, is uh, like a nickname for, uh, is for respect the girl, like a, like a holy name. I wanted to contact uh, Masika, but unfortunately my phone turned off um, and I start to ask neighbors, where is Masika, do you know her? And they told me there are a lot of Masika in neighbor. But they guess there is a girl, she had a foreigner before. So they told you must be looking for that girl. So they call that Masika. And the Masika came, but I guess she's not the one. But uh, she make me confused because she didn't uh, respond my question properly. And I was confused. Is it her or not? Because I told I was talking with you, I uh, looking for Messica. She told me, yes, yes, uh, I was waiting for you. <laughs> and she make me confused and take me uh, her home. She didn't mean anything bad. Uh, and uh, she was actually very welcoming. I could charge my phone there. She gave me a room and I could uh, be laid down and after charging my phone, ask her specifically, are you real Masika? Her family bring me food and I contact real Masika and this girl told, okay, I can take you there to real Masika.
if you are curious to know who is real Masika and her, her interesting story, wait for next video and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friend. Actually, this is not uh, Masika, this picture you see is Eva and it's very interesting because I just uh, walking middle of road and I know Eva from before and middle of nowhere uh, she was passing by a motorbike and uh, she stopped motorbike and she came and hugged me say hi she told what are you doing middle of nowhere and I told her a bit of uh, a story very shortly and she was very wonder and happy to me again and then we say goodbye was so interesting uh, to meet her suddenly without any plan in the middle of nowhere. And this place is uh, where I charged my phone on the road when it was uh, low battery behind the uh, gas station.